Syracuse University Food Services is following the steps of major corporations like Starbucks, taking steps to be more environmentally friendly. As of the start of this semester, Food Services has stopped providing straws in dining halls. I spoke to a director of Food Services, Mark Tewksbury, to see what sparked the change. One of our staff members, whose husband works at the Onondaga County Resource Recovery Agency, told us that they were finding straws in our compost. So it kind of, you know, due to that connection, we knew we were causing problems with the compost. We don't really need straws in the dining center, so we said, why not? For students on campus that have conditions and need a straw, he says there are plenty of straws available for them. He says in his experience, however, few students truly need them. And in my 38 years here at SU, I think we've encountered five students with a jaw wired shut, so we can handle it. While SU Food Services may have had a few inspirations from Starbucks and Delta Airlines, they had a few helping hands from other universities as well. Manager of both Ernie Davis and Shaw Dining Halls, Steve Brandt, says SU Food Services works with other universities to make necessary and environmental changes. We're a member of the National Associations of College and University Food Services, NACOP, and the abbreviations. Looking ahead, we can expect to see more efforts for Orange to go green. And someday as all the containers become available and, and do the job correctly, then we'll be able to, to make the switch fully. And we, we constantly look at it. Tewksbury says we can expect to see some container changes for dining halls in the near future. We um, recycle all our cans, our paper, our cardboard. We use LED lighting wherever we can. We try to turn on equipment when we need it and off when we don't. Um, the, the list is, is huge. Tewksbury says we can expect to see some container changes for dining halls in the near future. Landon Wexler, Citrus TV News.